Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Losers Become Winners for March 25th, 2020. XLF takes the lead for the Tigers. Yes, the Tigers are back on the scoreboard with a 7%. Let's go look at that chart. Let's see what they're up to. There they are. It was a trade on the my black value line that I have here as part of my trading system. And we had to get in this trade during the day. Remember in the last several videos, I have mentioned this. We have had a very difficult time trying to find what we call, with our criteria, options at the end of day. Uh, all my trading partners are having the same, same issue. And unfortunately, we have to come today. Now, is it day trading? No. It's setting a trade up during the day, but it's not day trading. Now, in setting up a trade in a day, this is the lesson real quick. You've got to have a strategy that conforms to that. The 30-day moving average line that you see is one of my strategies. That does not work during day, during day trading hours. Why? Because we need a close above the line for put for calls and close below the line for puts. Now, the black value line, that's something else. That runs along and it gets formed as the price action occurs. And it happened today. I saw the price action in here. And I said, you know, it started actually down here in the lower zone. And then I said, well, okay, there's our entry point. We'll go for it. Got in. And we ended up with a 7% for the day. Yes. Now, uh, XLF owes Tigers 857. I would have to go back to the record books to find out from what year going forward. But there we are. All right. So that said, now, unfortunately, the energy got triggered, but it fell down. Both of these were in good positive territory toward uh, 11 a.m. This was close to 12 or 13. It was really high. And this was running 6 to 7%. Market at the end of the day decided to take back some of the profit. It happens. All right, that's it for the Tigers. Welcome, Tigers, back on the scoreboard over over to Alphas. And in the Alphas, we have Waba. Yes, Waba is back in the trade again. Now, if you guys recall, I set up a trade in Waba. And let me zoom in here. I set up a trade in Waba off this red candle off a software. Now, but the proof was not all software uh, uh, softwares are not infallible. They have sometimes a mistake in their whatever the program or algorithm or information they got to declare it. So I went with it. It was a put. You guys, you can check the video. I believe it would be the it would be the uh, Monday. It would be the Monday video. The Monday afternoon video will touch on what happened here. I'm setting it up here for Friday. You see the 20th. So we got stuck with a round trip trade. And recall, round trips is day trading. That's where you open position in, in the morning or in the afternoon, or, well, in the afternoon, some parts of the country. But you close your position before the market closes or at the market close. The end result is that's a day trade. Accounts under $25,000 are not allowed to day trade. Please, please. Guys getting into this, if you have less than 25, don't think you can become day traders. You have to become overnight traders. Ah, that works. Yes, you can go and get into a trade at 10, 11 o'clock in the morning if it's, if it's the right direction, the right criteria for your trading plan, and then you leave it alone. Next morning, then you can exit the trade. Day trading is only between the, the, the day itself, and then you're not, you don't get hit with the penalty. The penalty is this. If you have four, if you hit four day trades within a five trade, five week, five trading days, your account gets locked up. It happened to me. It's not fun. So be aware of it. So there we are. Uh, so we got back into Wobbing. Now remember, I, I also mentioned in the video that I wasn't too confident about this trade. Why? I got a rising MACD. I have a, I have a, I have a flat line. I have a flat lining. Uh, value line on the on the MACD right there. You can see where it's really, it actually it's almost coming up, and then it was trending here and it's trending up there. And it says, you know, that that that's a that's not a that's not a put. That's a very strong call position. And it turned out to be correct. So we're back in again on here. 
Well, we got in the trade here off the off my black value line, as you saw earlier in XLF. And we're holding a nice little six dollars. I mean six percent. Uh that's it. SLB got triggered, but it fell back. This again was in positive territory. They're all in positive territory. But notice, guys, we are doing calls. That means there's a possibility because the scanner, we they, we depend on the scanner. The scanner does give us that possibility that we are looking at the uh, bottom of the market. Well, that does wrap it up for today on the Losers Become Winners for March 25th, 2020. I thank you very much for stopping by, checking it out. Tell your friends, even check it out, or subscribe, because the bottom line is this. We need to know making money in easy times as it was the last eight, 11 years of the bull market. That was easy. Making money in the hard times like it is right now. That is the test of any pudding. All right. With that said, we'll wrap it up for the day and catch you later tomorrow. Thank you and thank you for coming by. Bye-bye.